Hey YouTube, so this is another video about uh, the Gong Gong New. So the name of the company is Gong New, G O N G N I U, Gong New. So this was formerly called Bull, and they used to make electric switches, uh, extension boards, and uh, multi socket switches. Uh, so uh, I bought one of these back in 2018 for uh, it's it was a, a six switch six socket version and uh, I really liked the product quality uh, they were really made of some nice quality plastics and uh, really wanted to uh, have another one of these because uh, I ran out of sockets for uh, for my media center so I wanted to buy another one so this is the product and this is how it came packed so this is a, a five socket version so it has five sockets and five switches and i always like these uh, because uh, they have individual switches and uh, these are, those are really handy if you want to turn off uh, you can get the one with uh, five sockets and one switch the switch will be at here and you can use that one as well and uh, that would be the uh, best for computers if you have a desktop and uh, uh, you can plug the cpu for one socket the monitor here uh, if you have a speaker you can plug it here and if you have any other accessories like a printer or anything like that uh, you can plug it here and uh, you can connect this to a UPS as well if you have a UPS for your computer so if you have a PC you can get the single switch version and uh, you can turn all those devices on at a sing with the press of a single single switch uh, the reason I prefer this is because I have a situation where uh, it's my I have I primarily use a laptop and uh, I switch between two laptops uh, so I don't want the laptops to be getting charged all the time uh, so whenever I switch between laptops I switch off the switch here so that uh, there's no charge it's not getting charged all the time and if you have uh, if you have other things like sometimes I want to use a speaker but sometimes I plug in a earphone so I don't want a speaker to be on so I just turn off the speakers when I'm listening through a headphone or a earphone and uh, sometimes uh, I just want to plug in a uh, phone charger uh, so yeah you can think of many uses like that you can even use this with your media console like if you have a TV or you can connect the TV here you can have if you have a receiver or a set of box you can connect that here you can connect a game console you can connect uh, speakers and uh, yeah anything else like uh, you, you can use your own imagination so I'm just giving you examples of how you would use a, a multi socket switch like this and it's really useful having individual switches is is, is a convenience that's that's underrated so i'm just going to open this up um, i'm not going to bore you with the opening it's very simple to open this it's a nice package so i'm going to open this off camera and show you the switch So the switch is uh, I opened up from the packet. I just cut the bottom uh, because there is no uh, release seal here. So I just had to cut it. Uh, I'm not sure whether I took the right procedure here. Uh, it was in a bit of a hurry, I think. There, so okay, so this you have to cut it. There is no way of unlocking. Um, so I had to cut at the bottom. So I did that. And uh, yeah, so this is the features of the. Uh, product um, so it has certain I'm gonna zoom in so you can see the features here it's 10,000 life cycle push button switches uh, long lifespan high temperature fire resistant plastic material high conductive integrated brass bar and uh, German V certified 0 0.3 0 0.75 mm cable so yeah they're referring to this thick cable that uh, uh, that's the one that's German certified supposedly so um, uh, there's a bunch of things here like caution uh, how to use it 
making sure it's not getting the maximum the maximum is 10 amps uh, so don't try to put on anything that's more than 10 amps so yeah ideally this would be for uh, computers and laptops and televisions and nothing beyond like do not plug an iron box into this or uh, a washing machine or a refrigerator or anything that's heavy duty that requires a lot of amperage, amperage and a lot of voltage do not plug that into this use this only with uh, electronics that would be the best use case scenario so yeah here's it's what's what's listed so raw power consumption you can see here so computer tell your monitor 200 watts 220 watts uh, washing machine 400 refrigerator 100 watt and uh, vacuum cleaner 800 and what is this this is a kettle a kettle or a heating pot so 1600 watts and total max power that this can output is 2500 watts so i'm sure that you do not connect multiple of these devices at the same time uh, that do not cross the 2500 wattage that would be a safety issue and uh, it would be dangerous to do that so ensure that you only plug you do not plug all these high power drawing uh, devices to this uh, socket or any socket for that matter do not uh, unless that is intentionally built for heavy usages like that can output a max of 5000 or 10000 do not plug these uh, heavy duty devices to the socket so be cautious whenever you're doing stuff like this uh, because electricity or safety is number one priority so always try to be cautious um so yeah so let's look at the switch a bit random piece of uh, tying wire so this is the switch and uh, i'll show you i'll pause the video and i'll bring the, uh, the six button version and uh, six socket six button version and uh, show you the difference between the two hey i'm so back so this is the six socket version that i had bought earlier so you can see that it's a little dirty and uh, this is the uh, the five socket version so it's bigger and i think the six socket version has a longer cable as well so you can see it's a bit dirty and it of course white plastic so it picks up dirt really quickly but yeah they are essentially the same uh functionally the same it's just that this new one is missing one thing one switch and also a unique thing that i found uh is that the new one has uh if you so let me show you i'll zoom in and show you that uh it's very hard for the camera to pick it up but yeah there's a line surrounding the socket here of the, the newer one i'm not sure if this socket is special in any way and uh, this line is denoting that but uh, there's a line surrounding that but in the six wa six switch version uh, there's nothing like that there's no line and here's the branding so here's the branding uh, it's uh, again gong new gong Kongani, Kongani. That's how you pronounce that. I'm not sure. Really, I'm really bad at pronouncing that. Uh, so, but yeah. So these are really excellent. Uh, that's what I felt uh, compared to other switches that I've used. For example, there's another one here. And if you see here, look at the quality of these switches. It's really sharp. The plastic's really feel sharp to your hand. Fingers and uh, this feels really harsh to push. Uh, the switch and uh, yeah I'm not really satisfied with this uh, so uh, a, a good example is this this cable here uh, this monitor cable and see if you can see here faintly you see that that's dangerous because there's exposed contacts so that's the biggest issue that I find with these generic switches uh, and uh, they don't insulate really well and I'm not really sure how safe these switches are but there is a fuse uh, that's one advantage of these switches there is a fuse but these ones they don't have a fuse as far as I can see there is no fuse anywhere 
on I don't know new one so there's no fuse uh, so yeah these do come with fuses uh, there's a fuse here but these don't but I don't think they need a fuse uh, for what it is used for uh, but uh, overall if you see the switches here these are like really push button switches but they're really sharp and harsh but these have really good feel to them so if you see here these are a little harder to push but they give you that solid clicky tactile feeling when you push this switch it, it gives you a little satisfying feeling of pushing something that you accomplish something you push the switch and switch so it really feels nice and high quality when you push those and uh, inside these if you uh, if you check the website uh, the contacts it's actually a solid uh, rod of brass so all the sockets are connected the positive is connected to a single uh, la rod or a wire no it's not even a wire it's like a single piece of rod of uh, copper not brass i'm sorry it's not brass it's copper it's going from here to here uh, again i'm not sure whether it's copper or brass but yeah there's a single piece of uh, strip of uh, metal that's going from here to here and uh, that's how it passes the electricity and that's really a much much better way of doing it much more efficient way rather than uh, how these switches are usually wired if you open them up they are wired by via wires that's going from one one socket to another socket but these have a single a brass wire but i think the grounding is still uh, uh, regular wires and not a brass rod so i think they still have wire groundings but i think uh, I, I haven't opened it up but i've just seen the ads in the website and you can check them up uh, they are both available on amazon but uh, they're a little bit expensive on amazon there's another store called lt uh, that's where i bought the second one and uh, that, that's a little bit less expensive compared to the one you can find on amazon also let me show you an example of how the sockets are much better quality than compared to the generic switch so here if you see here this this wire it's uh, not seated properly you can see that the contacts are exposed and if someone touches those contacts that's a safety issue so let me show you how by plugging into the other the other switch and see how that works so i'm gonna take the cable the cable goes here so i'm gonna plug it to the both the old one and the new switch so if you see here i'm gonna plug it to this and if you can see here so that's there's no gap you can see no gap you can see no contacts exposed and this is a us plug this is not a indian one so if you see here uh, it's really tight it's really secure and i cannot pull it with a single hand this is really tight and secure whereas it, when it was plugged to the other one it was really loose this is really tight and secure it's really seated well uh, i think the same thing when i plug it to the new switch see here if I plug it, yeah it really is very tight and secure and the grip in the new switch is actually tighter uh, it grips a lot more than the old one because yeah that's because i've used this so it loosens up its grip uh, after using it for a long time but uh, it's really even now it's very tight and secure and it grips really well and there is no gap so nobody can touch the contacts even if i try to touch or if a child tries to touch the contact it's not a safety issue and uh, no one will be harmed uh, but whereas the other one that was really a safety issue then that's the reason why i'm trying to upgrade to this one uh, so this is again not a, re a regular and another advantage of these switches uh, from this brand is uh, the sockets themselves you can see here oh, they're all uh, multi socket compatible so if you take a, a us plug like this and plug it it works you can, uh, you can plug a british plug fortunately you don't have anything that's british uh, standard but you can plug those as well and you can try a regular indian uh, Indian so for example a charging cable it plugs Accepts that as well and you can see here if you have a oneplus or a oppo the one of those large chargers uh, There's enough space here so that you can plug it side by side. So I'm going to show that as well uh, Let me pause the video 
hey i'm back so yeah i've, I've plugged in a bunch of chargers that i found in my in my home so um, these belong to different different phones so if you can see here it accepts all the big all the chargers uh, even the bigger ones so for example this is an ERD one this has two USB sockets uh, so it accepts that and there is enough there is there's actually a little bit of clearance between them so it's not touching each other uh, there is actually space you can see here there's space between them and then this is a big realme charger uh, big this is a biggie so it accepts that and there is a, this is a mi1 and uh, they're all fast chargers except this lenovo uh, this is a Lenovo one and this is a regular charger this is not a fast charger so it's uh, uh, so this even that even then there's no problem so if you can see here it depends it really doesn't matter what size uh, it accepts them all and it does not abstract uh, the next socket so I'm just gonna uh, put this away so this cable doesn't want to go away so I'm just gonna unplug this cable uh, it's really tight this was Try it with my left hand. Come on, come on. Yeah, it's done. So, yep. So, this really, this switch is really designed well because it accepts a wide variety of charges without uh, obstructing the other socket. So, it's really nice that uh, they've designed it very well. And this is one of the best switches that I've found. Uh, it has a real little this can be used for anything be it a pc charging socket a media console uh, for your computer for your desktop everything it can be used for everything and uh, it really works well so i highly recommend this and uh, it's one of good uh, it's one of those good switches that's uh, available uh, so yeah and uh, i have the links listed for the switches uh, down below uh, in the description box uh, you can go check them out uh, if you really like it i will be having a, a posting the links for both amazon as well as ltstore.com uh, there's another store that uh, is also selling these switches and uh, that's selling just selling it at a cheaper price so uh, i'll post the link for them as well uh, one last thing is about the price uh, these switches are on the expensive side and uh, the six socket version uh, you might believe it or not uh, i bought this for uh, 600 rupees back in amazon in 2017 uh, i bought this for 600 rupees or i'm sorry 700 rupees 699 uh, and uh, i thought back then this was expensive but right now this retails for somewhere around 1300 or 400 if i'm not wrong again the prices have really gone up for these switches and they're really high quality and i'm trying to look for another six socket six switch version but since it was so expensive i had to uh, compromise and go for the five socket five switch version again i'm just losing one socket here uh, but this is retailing for 700 uh, rupees uh, so that's that's fine that's still fine i can live with uh, not having a single socket uh, but yeah so these really have gone up and i wish that i had bought another one back when in 2018 or 17 uh, f uh, uh, because uh, these have really gone up in price and it's really nice uh, i think this is a two meter cable uh, it's two meters long so it's really long really lengthy and you can buy a three meter one as well if you require a longer cable you can buy a three meter one depends upon your usage measure measure the distance do not go for a lengthy cable because again you'll have to do cable management uh, or do not go for a shorter one measure the distance before you actually order it online uh, offline i haven't seen this being available you get the generic ones offline but you won't get these high quality ones so best to buy it online and uh, that's it and uh, links will be available in the description and if you like it you can buy these switches thank you and uh, have a nice day there good day bye bye